Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to upload file or files to Azure Blob Store by using SSIS package. So as nowadays what's happening, we are using a lot of on-premises and Azure together. We need some capability where we can upload the data from our on-premises networks to the Azure Blob Storage. So SSIS tool we've been using for a long time and now this is the time SSIS tool needs some new tool tasks or transformation of those can be used to upload to the cloud. So uh, Azure uh, Feature Pack is uh, one of the tool uh, or a set of tasks that's provided by the Microsoft that can be used to load the files from our on-premises to the cloud. So first of all, let's take a look on that part. And here, if you go to the Visual Studio, and uh, that, then I already have installed Azure um, uh, feature pack and that's why you are seeing all these uh, different tasks. Um, so you are seeing Azure Blob download task, Azure Blob upload task and uh, there are other tasks. Today we are going to talk about Azure Blob upload task. So if you have not downloaded uh, what you are going to do, you are going to open Visual Studio or search on the Google and you are going to download Azure feature pack. Once you click on this link, uh, what's going to happen uh, is going to take you right here. So Azure back, uh, Feature Pack is available for uh, SQL Server 2019 or 2017, 2016, 14, and 12. So the, depending upon your SSIS uh, uh, that you're using, uh, you can download the one. I'm using uh, uh, SQL Server 2017, and uh, that's where I have uh, downloaded. After downloading, uh, you install it, and uh, inst after installing, you're going to uh, open your Visual Studio. If you uh, have Visual Studio open and you install it, uh, you have to re close it and reopen uh, so the task can uh, uh, get loaded here. Otherwise, you are not going to see them here. So let's go to the uh, project here. Go to project and I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call it Azure Feature Pack. And we will uh, pack. Okay. We are all good here. Let's go. And now what we have here, if you see right there, and uh, this is a Azure feature pack is uh, disabled or grayed out uh, because uh, I am using a uh, Visual Studio project, in this case, a target server 2019. So you see right there, SQL Server 2019. If I change to the 2017, I will be all good because I have installed the Azure feature pack for uh, SQL Server 2017. So hit apply and hit OK and uh, that's good. Now you should be all good. Um, so in this case, uh, you will be deploying your SSIS package to the SQL Server 2017. Uh, now let's go double click, open the package and here are your Azure uh, feature pack, all the tasks available. Uh, so the task what we are gonna use here, we are gonna use the Azure Blob upload task, why? Because uh, what we have to do, we have some files uh, sitting in our input folder under the ADF folder right here, and I would like to upload these uh, files. Uh, now, what I'm going to do here, I need the blob storage where these files will be saved. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go to the Azure blob storage and create the blob storage here. So I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to the Azure uh, portal and then creating uh, the blob storage. Uh, so I'm going to go to the storage accounts uh, and create a new account. And here uh, I will be providing the name and uh, then uh, so provide the subscription your resource group and then uh, you provide uh, the name in my case i'm going to go ahead and say tech browser it sorry tech browser storage demo and hit create i'm not selecting a whole lot of other features uh, so i'm going to be okay with the default features of a storage account soon our storage account is going to be ready and we will be able to use it okay let's go to the resource and here is our storage and if i go back to home and i want to see the name here so let me go to the resource group and there our should our storage should be now go to the containers and let's create a container and i'm going to click on container and i'm going to call it azure input azure input i hit to create and now this container is created. Right now this is the empty container and we need some uh, information from there. The first thing we need is a container name, sorry, storage name, and then uh, we also need a container name as well. Now we are gonna take uh, this uh, storage name, I'm gonna copy, and then let's go to the Visual Studio and uh, try to configure our stuff. Uh, now click on uh, Azure Blob Upload Task, and here you will be going to one uh, after one of these uh, tabs. Um, first of all, you need the connection to the Azure Blob. 
So we add your storage connection, click here, new, and now you will be providing some information. So see right here, you have a multiple type of uh, storage available. You have blob storage, blob storage emulated, and data lake uh, storage generation too. So in my case, it's gonna be blob storage. Now you will be providing account. So that's our account. The name of the data is storage account. Now you will be providing authentication key. And in this case, it's going to be authentication key, access key, service principle, or shared signature. In my case, it's gonna be access key. So I'm gonna go back to the Azure. And here I'm in my storage and go to the access keys and click show keys, copy the key, and come back to the Visual Studio. Now right here, provide that information and uh, now test connection. It's all good and we will be able to use this now. Next step is the going to the uh, blob container and we know that uh, our blob container name is Azure Input. Uh, now the uh, next part is the, if you would like to create a directory for this, uh, um, these files where you want to load them. Uh, so blob directory, we can do that. Uh, so I can call it uh, my uh, demo files or something like that if I would like to. Otherwise, uh, they will be loaded right under the container. Now, here is all your local directory. So navigate to the files or a directory where your files are. In my case, they are in the, in the input folder. So right there. And uh, if you have multiple folders inside that folder and you would like to search for some file, you can do search recursively. It will go through those uh, subfolders. In my case, uh, they are all on the same uh, folder right there. So let me show you. There is no subfolder, so I don't have to do that. Now I'm going to go back to the uh, Visual Studio. And here uh, I can do asterisk or I can do some specific file name. Let me do specific file name first uh, and then uh, later on we will do all files. Uh, Go back to the Visual Studio and here you provide the, the file name. Now, this is very interesting and the time range from and time range to. So you can provide uh, the time range of last modified. So you click here, so you see right there, specify a time filter, files modified after this date time and before a time range to will, will be included. So you can uh, filter them, the files you would like to upload. Now, this is a hard-coded part right here, but uh, you need to be a little intelligent on that. SSIS provides a lot of expressions. Um, we can go to expressions here, and we can uh, change actually all these values. Um, so you can see that uh, I can uh, change a blob container, blob directory, connection string, uh, and uh, debug mode, delay validations, description, and all that. And also on top of that, I have time range and time uh, range from and time, time range to. So if I would like to only load for one day, I can always uh, write, uh, let's say, get from. In this case, uh, it's gonna be, I can always uh, use uh, typecast functions and uh, use uh, some uh, get date and all that, you know. So I can write here, date time. So I can use get date uh, right there and uh, that will help me out. Uh, so you can always, uh, can, you know, convert and everything. So you can use uh, all those uh, different values there. Okay, so we are all good here. In this case, it's hard coded, but we are fine. So right click, execute task, or you can click on uh, package, right click, execute package. It's gonna load only one file for now. It's working on it, and finally it loaded one file. So you can see right there. Let's go to the Azure blob storage and take a look um, here. Remember that we have a container and in the container we have, a, uh, that's our container Azure input. Uh, in the container we have uh, my demo files directory or blob, uh, blob uh, storage or blob directory and uh, that's where we have asked to put this file. Um, click on this file, edit and we can see some records. Um, there are a couple, one, only one record in this uh, file. Uh, now I have changed my mind and I want to load all the files instead of loading only one file. I'm going to go back to SSIS package here and double click on the Azure Blob Upload Task Editor. And here instead of providing the file, I can go say asterisk dot asterisk. That means everything. So any name starting with anything dot any extension. In my case so right now I have only a uh, few files, uh, they are only .txt files, um, but how about we create some file? Um, in this case, I'm going to create, uh, let's say, Excel file. Um, so this is empty file, but it is good for testing. So now, asterisk dot asterisk means everything uh, with all those uh, different extensions. Um, if I would like to only load uh, .txt files, I can do that too. So it will not load the Excel file. So let's do that. First, uh, only 
load the .txt files and then we will load all the files later just for your uh, learning purpose. So in this case uh, it's going to load all .txt files because we have provided that uh, asterisk.txt so we are going to go to the blob storage here refresh and we can see that uh, all uh, .txt file has been loaded uh, so you can see right there and uh, they were loaded under my demo files uh, blob directory under the input uh, azure input to container looks good so we can see there is uh, some size now i'm going to go back finally and uh, take care of everything so remember that even we can search for recursive and all those different uh, types of so here i'm going to do asterisk dot asterisk so now this is all good and it should also load our excel file in this case total files are six files And uh, we can see that six file has been uh, uploaded. Uh, let's go back to the Azure Blob Storage and uh, refresh right here. And now we can see that uh, Excel file has been uploaded as well. Uh, we, there is no data in Excel file, so we can't really see that. And uh, but the other files does have some small data. So this is how you will be using uh, Azure uh, Feature Pack. And inside the Feature Pack, uh, one of the tasks is called Azure Blob Upload Task. And uh, that will be really helpful when you need to upload file from the on-premises uh, to the Azure Blob by using SSIS package. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.